Om Shanti, welcome you here with 15th of October's Call of Blessing. Anything which is lighter, it goes up, right? Same goes for a gas balloon, same goes for anything which is light like a cotton, it goes up in the wind. Now this is what we're going to talk about in today's Godly Blessing, that we can be double light and we can be free from all bondages in our life. So what makes us heavier? It's about a thought about the things which we want, we desire, which we want it our way. And if it doesn't happen, it brings us into a bondage with in terms of relationships, in terms of things and many other things. So God says, may you be free from all bondages and experience the flying stage with your stage of being double light. While walking and moving around, have this awareness. I am an angel who is stable in my double light stage. So it's a practice. It's like you're moving around, you look at people, you think that they have a divine light within them and you believe that you are a divine being. You are an angel in yourself. And I am stable in my double light stage. So what is that? An angel means one who flies. Anything light always floats up above. It doesn't go down. You have stayed down below for half a cycle. Now God is talking about the previous births. We have stayed down, worried about things, worried about family, worried about finances, worried about the company which we have, worried about the kingdom which we had. I'm talking about 200, 200 years from today ago, we were a country of nation of kings and queens. That time, the complete kingdom was a worry. The complete kingdom was a big worry for kings and queens and even for the royal family and for people working under the king. God says you had a lot on your head. You had a lot on your heart too. And there were invasions and many things were going on. And then that's the time when we did some karmas which were not so good. And that has become a bondage in our life. Which we have to face with people today in our life. Because those souls with whom we had bondage are somewhere over here, somewhere around us. So that's what God says. Therefore, check, do I have any burden or any bondage? When you think about people, when you think about things, or what kind of people, what kind of things come to your mind again and again, what relationship come to your mind again and again, that's a bondage. If somebody you remember again and again for getting something, or somebody who's done something to you, is generally these two things, something you're supposed to get from them, or something they've done to you, or you are planning to your revenge, then those people come to in your mind and that is a bondage so God says do I have any burden or any bondage if you have any bondage or burden of your weak sanskars weak habits thinking about troubles think about how bad it can become thinking about who can come and make a trouble in your life thinking about how people are not allowing you to move ahead in life thinking about what will happen to the future of your parents and your children and your siblings and your own spouse. So God says that is a weak sanskar. Wasteful thoughts. How, when, what, where, how. All these questions when they come out right about in a circle, then you are always in a thinking spree. And mostly we think about how worse it can become. Even though things haven't come about in our life, we are thinking who can bring about those things in our life how can they trouble us how can he trouble me how can she trouble me how can this situation bring about unnecessary worries in my life or body consciousness for a long time it will bring you down at the end therefore be free from bondage and practice staying in your double light stage i am light a soul this is my part going around i am detached from it and I am belonging to the Supreme Light. These are one or two methods which we can use on a daily basis. Practice them. I'm an angel. Practice them. Moving around. Doing my work as a soul. Detached from things. Detached from the outcomes of things. Detached from the outcome of my relationships with people. Detached from the outcome of the work or the karma which I have done. And that's what we learn in Brahma Kumaris on a daily basis. How to be detached. How to work like a detached observer. To know more about it. Do visit a Brahma Kumai Center and learn this beautiful art. Om Shanti Yes.